Hi everyone, today I'm going to tell you a little about how to use S'more. It's a great tool that I love using to make newsletters and it only takes a few minutes and they always look great. This video I'm going to do, show you the basics of how to use it. In the next video I'll show you some ways I've used it as a librarian and give you some more tips and tricks. So to sign in, so to go to S'more, it's s'more.com. You can hit login or sign in. I already have an account so I'm hitting login and I log into S'more. Now at the top here, it says start a new newsletter. You can choose one of these templates that they have, but I usually start from scratch. So you have to edit the title. So I edit the title and I'm gonna say how to use S'more tips and tricks. And then I can change the design. So if I don't want it to look like that, I can have different designs. They have like a blossom one, a handwritten one, a minimal one, a modern one, and a vintage one. In the handwritten one, you'll find some backgrounds that are educational. So in the educational ones, they have all these fun backgrounds, different ones that you can choose from. And they also have some custom ones if you have a pro account. So like my, I have a pro account, so that's my library as the background. But I usually just use, you know, one of these education ones as my background. So we'll choose this one. And then I can choose the color of the fonts. If I wanted a different font color, I could use, and I could even choose different fonts to use. And now you can add stuff to your newsletter. You can add text, pictures, events, audio, embedded links, forms, titles, a gallery of pictures, a bio, a video, a button, or if you have a pro account, a file. The ones I use the most are title, text, and usually embedded links and video. So I'm going to show you basically those. So title is a great way to break things up, like start a different area. So how to use Wakelet video. And then I can put that there. Now I can put the video, I can click on video. And here's my basic tutorial. I go to YouTube, grab the link, embed it here. And then what's nice is I have it right here. Now, if I didn't want this title here, all I can just do if it's already here is I can hit remove. Now, so now I have my Wakelet video, I have it here. If I wanted to add some text underneath it, I could write, write you know, I could either put a title, which is optional, or I can put, you know, follow this basic tutorial. And if I wanted, I could add links in there or not. And then I have the information right underneath. You could add pictures in, and sometimes I will add pictures in to it. I could do a big picture or another picture, and it will pull pictures from your, you know, um, that you have. Like, so I have this little bitmoji of me for call me. Um, I use embedded links also a lot. It will embed from different web pages. So if you have, like, here's the wakelet I made. If you have something already done, you can embed it into s'mores for you. So I can just hit embed and we'll embed it right in. You can also use a button if you wanted. So if you wanted it to look a little different, like click here, here for the wakelet. And then I put my link right in there. And then if you wanted to have it open in a new window or you wanted some details, and then it makes this nice little button for you. If you didn't like the order of things and you wanted to reorder, you could just move it up and down to reorder it. So if I wanted that to go over there, then I look like that. Now when I'm done, I can hit done editing and then I have the ability to do different things. I could print it as a PDF. I get analytics that will tell me how many people I have seen it. And this is really cool because it will tell you how many people, where they visited from, did, you know, if you sent it as an email, you could then get you know information on who's clicked on it. Um, here's a link that you can use and there's also a copy and embed code. So you can embed it right to your website. I love s'mores, you get five free. I highly recommend using it.